Despite the M1 chip, the XDR display on the M1 iPad Pro is actually my favorite feature right now. The M1 chip still needs software to come along in order for me to really appreciate what it can do. The XDR display is my favorite display to both consume and create content. Um, the 32 inch 4K display is big, but it's not OLED or mini LED. My iPhone is OLED, but it's not big enough. So the XDR display on the M1 iPad Pro just hits that sweet spot. Plus it's got 120 Hertz refresh rate, which makes everything buttery smooth and makes high frame rate content just look amazing. In this video, I'm going to be explaining how you can enhance your XDR display experience if that's even possible. And be sure to stick around to the end as we're announcing the winner of our AirTags giveaway. We might be starting a new one pretty soon. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss. I'm Chris Grant Jr. It's the Granite Geek Show. Okay, so when the XDR display came out, it boasted the 120 hertz refresh rate, the P3 color gamut, all these things we had seen before on previous iPad models. Uh, but what it was bringing to the table was a new technology that Apple had never really even used, which was mini LED. They had used it once before on the big 32 inch Pro Display XDR that released with the Mac Pro that had come out, the cheese grater Mac Pro. But with the M1 iPad, Apple seemingly blew that old XDR display out of the water. Maintaining the 120 hertz refresh rate on the iPad, having all the great features from the display previously, but including that mini LED technology that creates deeper blacks and brighter brights. It's at 1600 nits peak brightness when watching HDR content and a thousand nits uh, regular brightness, standard brightness. Um, so the display is simply a beast, but there was one feature of the 32 inch XDR display that we just weren't able to get on the M1 iPad. And this feature is actually pretty pro. A lot of people who work in professional video production use this, and that is the nano textured glass. So what that is, it's little perforations in the glass that refract light instead of reflecting it, um, creating a more matte finish instead of a glossy one. And so it cuts down on reflections um, while trying not to reduce clarity. Now, for those of you who have seen my iPad Pro already, some of you have commented saying, is that a notch in his iPad Pro? No, this is the paper-like screen protector for M1 iPad. And as you can see here, there is no risk to clarity, as you can see, okay? Um, but it has a matte finish that makes it anti reflective and this is something that i've really enjoyed um, now their primary feature that they promote with this is that it makes writing on your tablet writing on your ipad feel like paper okay and it sounds like paper it actually feels like a textured surface which makes you better at drawing it makes you better at your signature if you ever have to do things like that um this little notch here is where the glass is uncovered and this is what it sounds like Do you hear that? Exactly. You can barely hear it, if at all. Um, this is the experience that people have writing on the iPad. There's just, it's unnatural. Usually we're used to writing, well, from stone to papyrus to paper. Um, there's been grip on the pencil as we write. So, once again, this is what it sounds like on paper like. So, you're getting an excellent high quality, grainy experience here as far as the texture, what you're feeling. But then when you turn on the iPad, there's Jay Laudacuente of the Laudacuente Ledger. Um, you get no lo loss in clarity. You get no loss in crispness. It doesn't affect the display in any way. Um, and again, I've used this iPad since launch day pretty much since delivery day. So if you're looking for an enhancement, you're looking for an anti-reflective display cover for the M1 iPad Pro, I definitely go with the Paperlike. And I wanna shout out Paperlike because they did send this over and I wanna be very clear, I've always been a fan of Paperlike and that's part of the reason why I wanted to start a YouTube channel so that I could uh, collaborate with all my favorite brands. I've been an admirer of Paperlike for a while, but now testing it out and using it, guys, I can honestly say this is a no brainer. Uh, but from there, Let's announce our giveaway winner. So let me just say right off the bat, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you actually left a comment, applied to be entered in this giveaway. So what I wanna do is we're gonna do another one um, because giving away one AirTag, you, you've got a one in several hundred chance of actually winning. So the winner of this time around is Synetic Gaming and I've got your 
your uh, YouTube name here or here or here or there. So congratulations. Reach out to contact at LaraQuenteLedger.com. We'll get your shipping information from you and we'll get that sent out to you. But yes, we got to do another one. Um, so we're going to do another AirTags giveaway. If you want to get an entry to win, you know what to do. Leave a comment down below with Hey GG uh, before your comment. And that way I'll know you want to be entered and then look out for other ways to enter. I'll leave little hints and little tips at the end of my future videos letting you know how to get more entries into the giveaway, into the competition. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, thanks for growing the community. Subscribe, like, click the bell so you get a notification on your phone when I drop new videos. Thanks so much for watching. I already said that. I'm Chris Grant Jr. It's the Granite Geek Show.